Hello, I'm Joseph Shanahan, a rheumatologist and a clinical researcher at Duke University Medical Center. Have you heard or read about a clinical research study? Have you ever considered taking part in one? Let me briefly tell you about clinical research, and perhaps I can answer some questions that you may have. What is a clinical research study? A clinical research study is one way in which people help doctors find ways to treat disease and improve health care. Some studies are considered to be investigational because new drugs or, or interventions are tested on a small group of people before they are approved for the public at large. Other clinical studies are considered observational because no study drug or intervention is being tested. Instead, people's health habits are observed or they are asked to complete questionnaires about an important health issue. Why do people participate? Sometimes people decide to take part in a clinical study because it might directly benefit them. That is, it might help them with a the medical condition by giving them access to an intervention that they wouldn't otherwise be able to receive. Taking part in clinical research also gives people a chance to play an active part in their own health care. And sometimes people agree to participate just so they can contribute to medical research, even though they themselves may not receive any direct benefit from that research. Who can participate? Before anyone can take part in a clinical research study, they must first be screened to be sure that they are right for the study and that the study is right for them. All research studies will follow established guidelines specific to that study, describing who should be included and excluded. Sometimes a study will be looking for people with a particular medical condition, and sometimes a study will want healthy volunteers. If you are interested in participating in clinical research, you'll be asked to provide information about yourself that will help the investigators determine if you are a good candidate for the study. These questions might concern your age, the condition being studied, treatment you've already received, and other medical conditions. Since this information is vital to your safety, it's very important that you answer all questions as accurately as possible. What happens during a clinical research study? First of all, someone involved in the research will tell you all about the study. They will explain the reasons for the study and what would be required of you if you choose to participate. Next, you'll be asked to review the study consent form. This form will spell out all the potential benefits of the study and perhaps more importantly, the risks involved. It will describe all of the study procedures in detail. You should discuss the study with your family and have them read the consent form as well. As you review the form, you should ask any and all questions that you think of. If you decide to take part, you'll need to sign the consent form. Signing the form means that you understand what's involved and that you are agreeing to take part. You always have the option to withdraw from the study, even after you've signed the consent form. Next, you'll be given a photocopy of the signed form, which will contain contact information in case you need to get in touch with the study staff member at any time during the study. Typically, the next step in clinical research is randomization. What is randomization? In investigational studies, participants are typically randomized to one of the study groups. Randomization means your assignment will be assigned by chance, as in a flip of a coin. Neither you nor your doctor will be able to choose your assignment. Randomization is done to eliminate bias and to ensure that the study groups are as similar as possible. Eliminating bias in clinical research is done so that one outcome is not favored over another. Randomized research studies are considered ideal because doctors can be confident that the research results reflect the true effect of the study drug or intervention, not the differences between the makeup of the study groups. What if I change my mind and no longer want to participate? You may withdraw your consent at any time and drop out of the study. However, if you decide to withdraw, you'll need to tell the study staff of your decision. You may need to undergo some final tests and procedures. What are the risks? The risks involved in taking part are that the study drug or intervention might not work or that it might cause side effects. Side effects are problems that may be associated with the intervention. These effects can range from unpleasant to life-threatening. You will be told of any known side effects before you agree to participate. In addition, known side effects will be described in the consent form. How will my safety be protected? The same legal and ethical requirements that govern any medical practice also apply to clinical research. Clinical research is very closely controlled and has built-in safeguards. By law, 
Investigators have to follow very specific procedures. If you decide to participate, you'll be monitored frequently to check your progress and to make sure there are no problems. If you feel you are having problems between your study visits, you should let a study staff member know as soon as possible. In addition, all clinical studies have to be approved by an institutional review board known as an IRB. The IRB is made up of both medical experts and a member of the community. The IRB makes sure the study is as safe as possible and that participation by people is worth any risks involved. The IRB has to review and approve the study before it begins to be sure it is ethical and that the rights of participants are being protected. The IRB will also review the study annually. Moreover, all serious side effects have to be reported immediately to the IRB, which has the power to stop the study if the IRB feels the study is doing more harm than good. What about contact with my regular doctor? Your relationship with your regular doctor will not be affected by taking part in clinical research. Be sure to inform your doctor, though, so that any treatments or medications he or she may prescribe will not have any bad interactions with the study drug or interventions. Does it cost anything to participate in a clinical research study? In most clinical studies, the costs of services that are considered to be part of the research will be covered by the study, but routine medical care will not. Costs associated with your routine medical care will be billed to you and to your insurance company. Depending on how many visits are involved, you may be reimbursed for expenses such as parking or travel, but reimbursement policies vary from study to study. What should I consider before participating in a clinical research study? Now that you have a better understanding of clinical research, you may be thinking seriously about taking part in a study. If so, here are some of the things that you may want to consider. Before participating in a clinical research study, you should ask yourself the following. What is the purpose of the study? Who will be in it? What kinds of tests and interventions are involved? Am I willing to be assigned randomly to either study group? Do I have a strong preference to be assigned to one group over another? If you do, a randomized study may not be right for you. Why do the investigators think the intervention being tested may be effective? Has it been tested before? How do the possible risks and benefits compare with the treatment I am getting now? Am I willing to risk developing the possible side effects that may be associated with the study? Are there alternative treatments available instead of participating in this study? Would the alternatives be preferable in terms of the possible side effects or possible benefits? How might this study affect my daily life? How long will the study last? Will hospitalization be required? Who will pay for the interventions? Will I be reimbursed for any of my expenses and or time and effort? What type of long-term care will I receive? How will I know if the intervention is working? Will the results of the study be provided to me? Who will be in charge of my care during the study? Who should I contact if I have any questions? You should talk with your doctor, family, and friends before deciding to join a clinical research study. It's a decision that might have great impact not only on you, but on many people in the future. Thank you for your time.